Good evening once again folks and welcome to another helping of Mr H's Hot Pot. You join me this evening for another TV licensing related video. Now I don't normally do two of these on the bounce uh, simply because I don't let the subject dominate my life. I just wait until the monthly threatogram comes through the door and then I put it up here for your amusement. But this month I've made one called Letters from TV Licensing Volume 7 which I'll put a link up to now. And in that, in the comments section, quite a few of you have been asking me, why don't I make the no license needed declaration on the TV licensing website or by phone, or if you want to be really old fashioned, write a letter. Now, the reason I won't make that declaration, or NLN as it's called for short, is because, number one, you're under no legal obligation whatsoever to make one in the first place. It's not like when you take your car off the road and you declare it off the road with the DVLA, you've got to make a SOAN, and that's a legal requirement. Well, ringing TV licensing up isn't, and that's why I don't do it, number one. And number two, I don't see the benefit of making one to an householder, if I'm honest. And I'll explain that to you now by reading the acknowledgement letter that I got from my own no license needed declaration that I made all them years ago when I very first become legally license free. Now the reason I made this at the time was number one I was a bit naive and number two I wanted a refund on my license I hadn't let it run right out to the end so I rang them up I told them that I wanted a refund and they set me this no license needed declaration up for me automatically so I thought well why not as I say I was naive back then but when I got the acknowledgement letter through which, if you make one, you'll get one, or you might get it via email. Um, this is what it said. Now, the wording may have changed up to present day. I don't think it does, because these guys are just not imaginative. So here goes, and as I go through it, I'll explain the bits where I don't think it makes any advantage whatsoever to you as the householder. So it goes, thank you for getting in touch. Dear Mr H, you recently let us know that you didn't need a TV licence. Our records have now been updated, and you won't receive any more letters from us for nearly two years, unless you have told us you will need a licence before then, or we believe that your circumstances have changed. Now I'll just stop there, and that little bit that I've just read out, the only important bit in that is our records have been updated. So though you have it in black and white, that's all they're interested in, is getting the records updated and you won't receive any more letters from us for two years now the only reason they send out this junk is so you'll make one of these so obviously if you've made one of these or you've bought a license there's no need to send you the junk is there so that's all them are interested in is it, getting you to make one of these so it goes on in about two years or sooner if appropriate we'll get in touch to check if you still don't need a license so this thing doesn't last forever, you know, in two years' time, they're going to get back in touch with you and start all over again. So once again, it, you know, it doesn't uh, make any benefit to you as the householder. It then goes on to say in bold, we may need a couple of minutes of your time. The law states that you must be covered by a TV license to use any device to watch or record programmes as they're being shown on TV. This includes TVs, computers, mobile phones, games consoles, digital boxes and DVD slash VHS recorders. As it is our duty to ensure that everyone in the UK who needs a licence has one, we visit addresses to check. Because when we make contact we find almost one in five people need a licence. Please be assured that this is a routine visit and will take no more than a few minutes. So, this declaration doesn't even spur you from a visit. There you are, making your declaration, being a good citizen, being honest and upfront because you've got nothing to add with TV licensing, and they still want to come round and check on you anyway. So it's not, what some people think, an exemption for two years from a knock on the door. It could still happen, whether you make the declaration or you don't. So that's the reason, another reason, why I think it's a waste of time making it. The only benefit of making this declaration is to TV licensing, and that's so, and they openly state it, so they can update the records. It's a cheap, cost-effective way of them gathering information on every address in the UK, because as they state, it's their duty to ensure that everyone in the UK who needs a license has one. Well, unfortunately, 
That's TV licensing's problem, isn't it? It's not yours or mine. We're not the ones who's charged with uh, making sure everyone has a TV licence. They are. All you have to worry about is if you're watching live broadcasts, or you're streaming or downloading TV programmes from the BBC iPlayer. As long as you're not doing either of those things, you don't need to do a damn thing. So the letter goes on to state that if your situation changes, please let us know, which is fair enough. If you begin watching programmes as they're being shown on TV, you'll need to be covered by a TV licence. You can buy one quickly and easily online at, then there's a web address, or by calling, telephone number, with your bank details ready. Yours sincerely, Customer Service Manager. As many people move home or change their circumstances, we're not able to put a permanent stop on letters. So, the only, per the only good benefit of this declaration is so you won't get the letters asking you to make one. Like I said, it doesn't, you don't get anything from it. It's not an exemption. There's one or two people out there on the internet currently stating that it's a two-year exemption from uh, any TV licensing inspectors or anything like that. It's not. It'll stop the letters, but that's all. So if the letters really bother you, by all means make one. But the letters you can simply drop in the bin, unopened if you wish. I mean, what I do with mine is... Once I've made a letters from TV licensing video, I just throw it in a file along with the rest of them because sometimes I make a video like this where I bring them out again and wave them about in front of the camera and I don't bother about them. Now, just to prove my point that some people do still get visits despite making the uh, declaration, here's some clips from some videos that are currently on YouTube. Why do I have to prove my innocence? It's not proving the innocence, it's just... Well, it's, I've informed you that I'm not doing it. So you're well, saying that I'm not a trustworthy person. No, I'm not saying that. Right? I'm not saying have come three times, right? I have, wrote, I have sent via email and I've got a report back saying that you would not uh, come here at all for two years. Two years? That's what it said. I informed them, they said they'd review it again in two years. Right. And you have been here three times in the last six months. Yeah, because obviously we've got you down over the license. We have to check it, sir. The bottom line is that no live broadcasts are watched or recorded mm. ever mm. in this house. Mm. Yeah. Right. Okay. All right. Right. Okay. Um, like I say, I'll, I'll note down what I normally see. This is what it is. I mean, they do have, they do send people around every six odd months and then see if your situation is still the same. And if it's still the same, then fair enough, we'll do the same again for another mm. six months or some time. Well, I can see they're not doing that for me because I know I know when you put no license needed, you're supposed to be you're supposed to be left alone for two years, aren't you? Well, on here, I mean, I can only go off what we can do it for it. On here, is it's normally done for six months, but. Then there's, there is people who don't hear from us for a good old year. I mean, well, from from what I've read up, uh, no license needed means no contact for two years. Okay. Um, and then you'll be written to at the at the end of two years to find out if whether the situation is still the same. Mm, yeah. Right. Um, okay. Maybe that's changed because I've not really read up on it well, in the no, last well, few months. Well, since I've been working with them, I mean, I know we can put it on hold for you for six months. And then, I mean, we'll come round again in six months and if the situation's still the same. Does that, mean I'll, does that mean I'll miss the lovely letters? Hopefully. So what we did was uh, we notified your TV licence company and told them that, uh, A, that we don't have a television licence for here, and B, that we didn't want anybody coming on this property. I don't have any notification, I don't have any well, information to that. Well, that's what we told them. How did you do that? Did you send email. them a letter? No, no, email? everything was done by email. Right, did you get okay. a reply to the email? We did get a reply to the email. Can I see it? We got a TV, but we don't watch live broadcasts. Oh, do you mind if I come in and check? No, 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 that's, uh, no, no you, you can't come in, no, sorry. I can't put you down as uh, confirm no set without confirming. I've already called up and given details, so... Okay. Did they tell you that somebody would be coming round? They did, yeah. You are being silly now. I'm listen. not being excuse me, you're offending me now. It's you're offending me now. Me that you do not watch your television. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ask you to look to, to look at yourself. No, believe my word, trust my word. Trust my word. Trust my word. No, no, I will not trust your word. Oh I will not trust your word. TV licensing does not trust your word. Really? Well, there you go. As you can see, those folks made the uh, declaration and they still got a goon visit. 
I'll bet they was wondering, when they was talking to the goon, why did I bother making that declaration? Because it was quite apparent from the goon's faces in those clips that they was totally unaware that the householders concerned had made a no licence needed declaration to TV licensing. It would appear that TV licensing do not pass on that information to the Capita field staff who carry out inquiries on their behalf. Now another reason for not bothering with the licence uh, declaration, and it's a most important one I think, is if you make the declaration and then subsequently you get a visit like those people in the clips did, and the goon concerned, for whatever reason, gets the idea that you are evading the licence and goes away and makes his report, or her report, and you get a summons, and you get taken to court, and you lose your case, which has happened to some people, then you are treated more harshly, because you made a declaration, even though it's not a legal requirement, than someone who was blatantly evading the licence, and uh, didn't make the declaration. So that's not really fair, is it? So that's another reason for giving it a wide berth, especially as you've no legal obligation to make it in the first place. I personally think that it's a waste of time and you're just making a noose for yourself, or could be. Now, the reason I state that is, and I'm going to say here and now in fairness to goons, I'm sure that not every goon out there is a bad person. I'm sure there's some very good ones who it's just a transient job for them, and they're going to try and get another job as soon as possible. But what I will say with every goon is, they are commission and target based. And that lends itself to rogue goons who are either not very good at the job and selling TV licenses, fabricating evidence, or simply they're out to make as much money as they can. So why take the risk? Why take the risk of making contact with them when you don't need to? So, those are the reasons for that. I hope that answers uh, that little question. Like I said, the reason for making this video is I've been asked that question so many times, rather than keep going and answering every time, you know, with the same old thing, repeating myself, it's just easy to make a video about it. So, I do apologise to my regular viewers, because I know some of you out there are not really bothered about these type of videos, you're not interested. You're quite happy paying for your TV licence and watching your telly. That's fair enough, I've not got any beef with, uh, with people on that. I'm not here to say cancel your licence, now. They're just here as an information video for people who are thinking about it, we're a little bit bothered. So I promise the next time you see me, I'll be out and about again with Mrs H and the girls. So until then, bye bye for now. I will not trust your word. TV licensing does not trust your word. I will not trust your word. TV licensing does not trust your word.